Question 16. What is RCCS? What is its lifespan? Answer. RCCS stands for Rotary Cell Culture System. It is a device designed to grow three-dimensional cell clusters in microgravity. This device was developed by NASA to study the cell tissues of mammals, including humans. In microgravity, tissues grown in the RCCS are larger and three-dimensional, with structural and chemical characteristics similar to normal tissue. RCCS has no moving parts. Thus cells are less prone to damage and hence provides longer lifespan. Question 17. Differentiate between introns and exons? Answer. An intron refers to any nucleotide sequence within a gene which is removed by RNA splicing to generate the final mature RNA product of a gene. The term intron refers to both the DNA sequence within a gene and the corresponding sequence in RNA transcripts. Introns are found in the genes of most organisms and many viruses. An exon can be referred to a sequence in DNA or its RNA transcript. In broad sense, an exon is a nucleic acid sequence that is represented in the mature form of an RNA molecule. Question 18. Explain method of perfusion. State some of its drawbacks. Answer. Perfusion is the process of delivery of blood to a capillary bed in the biological tissue. Tests of adequate perfusion are a part of the patient assessment process performed by medical or emergency personnel. The most common methods include evaluating skin color, temperature, condition and capillary refill. Perfusion can be of two types, over perfusion and under perfusion. Types of perfusion is classified according to the average level of perfusion across all tissues in an individual body. Tissues like the heart are considered over fused and receive more blood than would be expected to meet the metabolic needs of the tissue. Question 19. What is LMO? State some of its importance. Answer. LMO stands for Living Modified Organism. LMO are those organisms that have been genetically modified through the application of biotechnology. LMO also includes organisms that have been modified by novel recombinant DNA techniques as well as those that have been modified by mutagenesis or classical breeding and selection techniques. Importance of LMOs is that they can eat hazardous waste. Question 20. What is prosthetic limb? What are its drawbacks? Answer. It is an artificial device which can be used to replace a missing body part. It is based on the principle of biomechatronics. It can be used to replace body part missing from birth due to injury or due to defect. The main drawback of prosthetic limb is its cost. Moreover, prosthetic limbs have to be replaced every three to four year due to the wear and tear. If the limb has fit tissues then the sockets in the limb have to be replaced every month. Question 21. What is EEG scan? Explain the wave patterns seen in an EEG scan. Answer. Electroencephalography is commonly known as EEG. It is the recording of the electrical activity along the scalp. This technique can measure the fluctuations in voltage resulting through the ionic flow of current within the neurons of the brain. In EEG multiple electrodes are placed on the scalp which is used to record brain spontaneous electrical activity over a short period of time. EEG can be used for the diagnosis of coma, encephalopathies, and brain death. Wave patterns commonly observed in EEG are delta, state of sleep, theta, drowsiness, alpha, relaxation, and beta, active thinking and gamma. Question 22. Explain the biological neuron model. How is it different from artificial neuron? Answer biological neuron is also commonly known as spiking neuron model. This model is mathematical description of the properties of the nerve cell or neuron. This model is formulated to predict and describe the biological processes. This is different from artificial neuron because artificial neuron is based on computational effectiveness. Artificial neuron is based on the synaptic weight for determining the neuron output. Question 23. Differentiate between retrovirus and provirus. Answer. A retrovirus is a RNA virus which can be duplicated in a host cell using the reverse transcriptase enzyme. It can produce DNA from its RNA genome. The produced DNA is then incorporated into the host's genome by an integrase enzyme. The RNA virus thereafter replicates as part of the host cell's DNA. Retroviruses are enveloped viruses that belong to the viral family Retroviridae. Provirus is a virus genome which can integrate into DNA of host cell. In inactive viral infections the virus will not replicate itself but through replication of its host cell. This state can last over many host cell generations. Question 24. Explain pathogens. Name some types of pathogens. Answer. Pathogens are those organism which feeds on other organism for their food. Pathogens can be transported through many different routes, 
including airborne direct or indirect contact, sexual contact, through blood, breast milk, or other body fluids, and through the fecal oral route. Pathogens can be used to suppress pest population. Different types of pathogens are viral, bacterial, fungal etc. Question 25. What is blood-brain barrier? Answer. Blood-brain barrier is caused in central nervous system. When blood circulation is separated from the brain extracellular fluid, BECF, this phenomenon occurs along all capillaries. It consists of tight junctions around the capillaries that do not exist in normal circulation. Cells of the barrier actively transport metabolic products such as glucose across the barrier with specific proteins. This barrier also consists of astrocytic and feet and also includes a thick basement membrane. Question 26. What is the mechanism of ELISA? Answer. ELISA stands for enzyme-linked immunodiffusion assays. It works on principle of antigen-antibody reaction. Question 27. What is biological neuron? Answer. A biological neuron model, also known as spiking neuron model, is a mathematical description of the properties of nerve cells, or neurons, that is designed to accurately describe and predict biological processes. It's the training of neurons using ANN. Question 28. What is the lifespan of an RCCS, rotary cell culture system, device? Answer. The RCCS is the device that efficiently creates an environment that enable extremely fragile cell cultures and co-cultures of human and animal cell to grow into complex. Question 29. Why M's in biomedical engineering? Answer. Better opportunities in the work field with more in-depth knowledge of the field one is interested to pursue and continue to work. Question 30. What is the difference between gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria based on cell content? Answer. The cell membrane is made if more of lipoproteins in gram-negative compared to gram-positive.